Hello from Bug Eye Guy. This is a customer's car, Mr. Wellman's car from Pennsylvania, and you're watching here one of the last test drives before we send this this wonderful car back home to Pennsylvania in the Pittsburgh area, where uh, Mr. Wellman and family can enjoy this car now that we've brought it back to life. It's a it was a nice car, and it just uh, wasn't running when we got it. But now we've gone through everything, gotten it ready, and. I wanted to share with you in this short video a little bit of my test driving process just to get these cars ready to ship them home. It's always fascinating to me because every one of them is a little bit different, so this is never boring at all. It's always exciting. They all do different things, but yet after, at this point, about 250 bug eyes through our building and through our process, we know what to look for and for example this little section of our street here has a sequence of bumps that you can see me running through there and how the car behaves over those bumps teaches us a whole lot about what it needs or doesn't need you know depending on how far along we are in the process same with this little chicane here and of course you see me operating the turn signals there right above the ignition key uh, I'm looking on these drives for any little noise or rattle or detail that might be out of whack. And here is another really fun portion, a 0 to 60 run. This one has our new speedometer so we can measure the 0 to 60 speed and get even more information. We need the cars to be able to go up and down from highway speed safely and in a nice tight fashion. And there's 60 right about there and of course I'm checking now to see how nicely the brakes are going to bring me down from speed you know from 60 to 50 there getting hard on the brakes but trying to also be gentle on the car and uh, just again discover its limitations and look for opportunities of anything that might need to be addressed before the car departs. And we're lucky to have this highway on-ramp here where we have a turnaround and so that we can kind of get the car up and down from speed quickly. And heading back towards town, I can take it easy, but again, run through the gears one more time. I'm looking at things like, you know, is this car going to jump out of gear? Uh, how are the synchros? The second gear synchro on this one is a little bit weak, but as the car warmed up, it was less of an issue. We change a lot of transmissions here because sometimes they do jump out of gear or they have synchros that are just very, very difficult to manage even if you double clutch. So this car passes with flying colors and we performed about 75 different improvements to this car. Boy, we're so lucky that we have a shipping network and we can pick up a car in Pittsburgh and bring it to our place make it wonderful and send it back on its way again. I mean, a lot of people tell me they never would drive their bug eye on the highway like I just did up, up and down from 60 miles an hour. But when you change the whole front end like we did, we rebushed everything, we put in new tapered wheel bearings, we upgraded the disc brakes, repaired the rear brakes, changed the shocks, put in an anti-roll bar. I mean, there were just so many improvements to make this car better than it ever was when it's new. And now we've got a great product, and that's what we're all about. That's really what we stand for. And uh, we're happy to get any more cars like this in so we can put them through their paces. Thank you so much for coming with us today on this drive. I'm here to pick up dinner now, and so my work is complete for the day. And that's what we're up to this week here at Bug Eye Guy.